Easy the eye means as the body settles and opens, along with that is an eye that also should settle. Easy the eye, make more room. Notice there's more room. A sense feeling of more room. If the eye stays little up and tight, it's a critiquer, it's a worrier, uh, it's what are you guys doing? And I'm not sure if I'm doing it right, and on and on and on. Easy that eye. So part of settling into presence includes that easy the eye. Okay? Everyone's sort of here at the doorway to the temple. Yeah? Okay. <sighs> Feet on the ground, body, body. Now you're a little more present than before. <sighs> a little more present. Arm raises. <sighs> a little more present. <sighs> Arm raises. Now, do you remember the feeling when we first did it? Mine, for example, is already feeling smoother. At the moment, I'm not feeling any catches. The first one I did before, uh, there's a little catch. I'm not noticing that. It feels very smooth, fairly smooth. Okay, so notice the difference in that arm. Easy again. This is a fast downtime now, easy. Uh, double checking, present. Feet on the ground. It's a very minor downtime. Ah, there I am again. Feet on the ground. More present. Okay. And let the arm raise. Let the arm raise. For example, in my case, I notice uh, as if the arm is being raised, which is different than I raise the arm. I lift my arm up. Okay. You got the feeling. That's a heavy guy. Easy. A little settling. Basic ground, basic presence. Easy. And arm raises. Again, sense feeling. For example, my arm feels longer. It feels like it's pointing out there or flowing out there. I used to practice something like this in my apartment in Tokyo, and I would paint the walls. <laughs> right? There was a certain level where it felt like it was flowing out. I paint the walls, so to speak. Okay, so I'm getting close to that level here. Easy. One more time. Double checking. In a certain way, this is our downtime. Presence. Feet on the ground. And, and arm raises. Crescents, arm raises. In my case, it's feeling like it's starting earlier than here. It's starting, I don't know, further back, deeper inside. It's as if something started to move before my arm moved back around in here. For example, Yours are yours. Just experience your own experience. Ah, easy downtime. Ah, present. Raise the arm. Okay, good enough there. Ah, question something? Say what? Something? What do you want from me? Okay. All right. Uh, that basic being at the doorway, you can do that sitting in your chair, uh, being present. Uh, the beginnings of approaching the doorway and winding up to the doorway. Uh, a relationship with the seat on the chair. A relationship with the chair's four legs. A sense, see, oh, oh, yeah, I know it has four legs. I, I don't mean up there in that mental state. A sense experience. 
Feet on the ground, four legs. So you could do it from a chair. If you're the yogic type, you can do it sitting on your pillow on the floor. Okay, just a sense of presence, an experience of presence. Okay. Okay. The practice of arm raising, for example, uh, uh, this is uh, from Steve Fleischman. Uh, he was telling me uh, uh, in high school, there was a teacher he really was touched by. And we got to realize this is 40 or more years since he's had contact with that teacher, but he still remembers him. And the teacher in physics had them do very simple exercises, very simple uh, experiments. And by doing those very simple experiments, they got a sense at a doorway, they got a sense of the world of physics. Okay, so there were very simple practices, very simple experiments, but it introduced to the world of physics. We, we're kind of doing a similar thing. So uh, let's go back one more time. Uh, yeah, let me see. So it seems simple. Watch out for a tighter eye. I'll say, what are we doing? That's stupid. I'm out of here. Okay. Uh, but just simple to set up the first basics. For example, I could say, whoa, there seems to be another force because I didn't raise my arm in the normal way. As if something is waving through me, arm goes up. Here it comes. Waving through me, arm goes up. Arm goes up. Okay, so it's beginning to introduce us to something more than the norm. Ah. The downtimes, as I mentioned last week, uh, they are different, different time elements. Uh, so for this one, just down a little bit, that's downtime, but most humans wouldn't notice it. But there's a downtime and arm raises. Ah, a downtime and arm raises. So there's even a downtime pattern there. Most people wouldn't, wouldn't notice it or they create some other words for it. raise your arm. Why didn't you raise your arm then? Well, I wasn't ready. But I'm not ready doesn't explain what's going on. It's building, but it here it comes. There it is. Okay. So even in little things, there's a downtime, which we probably never noticed really. Ah. The uh, patterns. Uh, the negative approach. Are there, I want to present three three different patterns. Uh, let's say negative approach might be a, oh, I can't do it. I don't want to do it. I can't do any more. Uh, oh, I don't, I can't. Oh, that reminds me, oh, those are downtime words. I can't do it now, but give me a moment. Now I can sort of kind of do it, okay? So uh, a trick of the trade is who said I can't? A lesser self. Okay, catch that. It's not forever. It's at the moment when I can't. Doesn't mean I'll never be able to. If I process, open up, get into the beat harmony of things, then I can a bit. If I continue, then I can better. Okay, so watch out for I can't as if it's going to be forever. It's just that moment, that level of you. Okay. 
But as you process, that eye moves along into a better space, finer energies, and we'll see what you can do. Okay. Uh, the, uh, so that's a negative rem rem reminder. I can, I don't. The next one is kind of a balance re re reminder. Uh, let's say you're a baseball player in high school. Okay. Uh, boom. And you're pretty good. Okay. You're fairly good. You're a good ball player. <sighs> then after high school, college is rearing its head. Okay. Um, depending on student, on the person, uh, there'll be some negative and some positive. Oh boy, I'm really looking forward to that. Oh shit, will I be able to rise to the occasion? But if he just accepts that pattern, boom, he's a college ball player. He's okay. In fact, he's playing pretty good. And after four years of playing ball in college, he'll hit that same uh, place again at a different level. Now it's, I'm pretty good. They're talking to me about playing semi-pro ball. My God, semi-pro, wow. Can I hack it? Will I screw up? Boy, I really would like to do that. So there's gonna be pros and cons there. The process is the same. A little bit more, a little bit deeper, so finer energies can mix and produce semi-pro player. Okay, so that's where you're kind of balanced. A little easier to move into next and next with some minor ups and downs or uh, positives, negatives. Okay, so balance. When you get balance, the system really wants to move on to next. Okay, so balance that whatever. System wants to move on to next. Ah, third form I'm presenting is where you want to practice. You want to get involved. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, I'm checking my notes here. Uh, you're, you're willing to hang out here and fun around. You have a desire to fun around and play with this, okay? So you're a, a seeker, you're an inquirer, all right? And uh, good. <laughs> ah, somebody, um, there's some notes. I turn the page one time there. Got some notes. Okay. Oh, here they are. Okay. Ah. Okay, you've heard some of these before. Let's go over them. It is by going down into the abyss that we recover the treasures of life, Joseph Campbell. Okay. By the way, abyss can be a scary word. The fear factor was mentioned last week. Okay. Uh, tonight so far, we haven't gone any real depth. We, we got more present at floor level, but nobody asked you to go deep, deep, deep. Okay. So we want to take that a little slower because we don't want to scare ourselves with, whoa, it's a big ocean. Uh, oh, sensei, the divine light must descend to the earth and illuminate everything right to the bottom of the sea. Bottom of the sea, of course, represents this deeper of downtime. Okay. Uh, Bruce Lee, root. Root represents a very deep base, okay? It doesn't mean one inch uh, uh, underneath your uh, lawn as being root. We're talking about it, the root, deep root. Root is the starting point. If the root is right, if you get there properly, so will all the natural manifestations. If that's neglected, what will spring up will not be well ordered. So say it, Bruce. Uh, 
roots again. Seek to understand the root and not the branches. I uh, say, these are branches, but, but deeper through the darker of the ground, there is a root. Okay? Root is the real knowledge and it breeds body feel and personal expression. Uh, see, in that case, personal expression, as it mixes up a better, or he said breeds, I like the word breed, as it mixes up or breeds a better character, it's a personal character, all right? Uh, personal expression, the better character will express himself better. Lesser character sometimes doesn't know, what should I do? I don't know what to do in life. Uh, story here. Years ago, I was beginning to become psychic. Uh, and a lady I knew from the dog club I was in, uh, her son was uh, working. Uh, but he was going through a lot of jobs. And she said to me, my son just goes through job after job after job. Uh, what, what's his career? At the time being psychic, <sighs> did my little process. And I said, sales. And she said, no, he's had 15, 12, 12 sales jobs. And he quit all of them. I double checked and I said, oh, he hasn't found the right product to sell yet. But see, he was a salesman. Each job he had that he quit was sales. And he'd pick up another sales job and then quit and another sales job and quit. His lineage was sales. He just hadn't found the right product to sell. Okay. How'd I come up with that story? Uh, oh, the, a better root, better mixed system, better character, who will do better at his job. His job was sales. He just had to find the product to sell that he could stand behind. Okay, is that it? Oh, Sensei, every sturdy tree that towers over a human being, okay? So you get a human being, and I would just draw the picture of this great tower, uh, great towering tree. Uh, every sturdy tree that towers over human beings owes its existence to a deeply rooted core. Now, he's not talking about trees there, right? It's oh, Sensei's symbology i was talking about the tree being a, a better you okay a greater you and if you following a process can touch deeper roots it'll mix up better and you'll be a towering giant tree person okay there was a couple others on the uh, uh before the session that were uh, uh being shown and uh I'll have to write them down and come back uh, next week with those. I thought they were pretty good from Osente. Okay, here's one. Uh, thank you, Bob Noah. Uh, from Campbell, Joseph Campbell. The di difference between an off person, he used different words for off, crazy person, whatever. The difference between an off person and a mystic. An off person drowns in those waters, and the mystic swims in them with delight. So if you're really going to follow this, let's hope you get to the place where you can swim in those waters with delight. Okay. Now, again, ocean, seas, abyss. Oh, my God. Deep roots, way, way deep scary okay. so let's just do a, a, a page at a time an inch at a time let's not jump into an ocean okay it's a bit much uh but let's get the basics okay the basics really start here at the doorway uh let's see let's do a different form Boom. 
thing. Okay, let's do the simple for, format. So first basics being present, breathing and feeling, catching if you're thinking about it, aware of it, experience, feel the hereness, feel the presence, really feel the breathing, experience the breathing, feel the body, okay? So we're at first level. Okay. Now I'm not gonna throw you into an ocean. I'm not gonna say jump into the abyss, dear God. But at the level it's comfortable for you here, a little bit deeper, use the feet easy, a sense of deeper, easy. See, physically in our realm, we, we in a sense can't go past this wood floor here. You sense deeper, easy. You don't have to go on forever. Don't drown down there. Just easy. as you down time, it's going to be another floor or something that supports you. So floor is my word. It might be a little light dot. And from that dot, boom. So whatever form. So I like floor, generally speaking. If you come up with a, a light dot reference, fine. What, whatever's comfy for you. Whatever comes to you, shows for you. Okay, and here, a little bit deeper than the floor, easy. Sense feeling. You hit it, hang out with it. First, you might not be sure, but if you, if you sort of think so, good enough. Okay, that's the floor, easy. A little more presence there, and, and, boom. Energies are moving up through the system. Ah, I straightened a little bit better. Have a little more back. These are my examples. What are your examples? Ah, I feel a little longer in the arms. I feel a little, a little more capable. I, I noticed a faint hint of a beginning of a smile. Ah, this mix mixed up a nicer guy. Hey, can you believe it? A happier guy. Okay. Right. One more time. Easy. Whatever level is comfortable for you. Let's go over the basics. Floor that you can touch physically first. <sighs> Squared away. <sighs> Not very totally mental. Easy. A little bit less busy mind. A little more feeling. Beginning of experience. And, and now let's go down to whatever floor here is comfortable for you. Okay, this one for me, it senses a little wider and it senses a little thicker. It's not a wood support. It feels more like a steel beam support. That, that's my sense. What's your sense? And, and from that floor, that supporting beam, I definitely feel stronger. I, it'd be easy to practice punching now. I just, I just feel stronger. I want to do a little something. Okay. I uh, remember uh, the first level of me would be like, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do anything. That would be my clue. That's Bobby. As I click, there's Robert. As I click, mixes up Nado. Who wants to do things? I really feel like moving around, as you can see. I really feel like moving around. Wish I was back in the mat on the mat again. Ah, but again, your level. We're not asking you to go into dark forever. Just a momentary downtime. And, and ah, there will be a floor there. And as you uh, play with this. And you hit a floor, and then you hit it. You go again, and you hit a deeper floor. Uh, then you you should catch on. There's always going to be a floor. If I can't see one for a moment, no big deal. I know there's a floor there. It's just a matter of easy. It's there. Maybe it's deeper than the one before. So it's going to take me an extra moment, but it's there. Boom. Okay. So as you 
hit a couple of them, then it gets easy to trust there'll be another and another and another. Kind of like it, it's guaranteed. It happened three times in a row. Why shouldn't it happen the fourth? Something like that. Don't know if the wording is well, but close enough. Last one. Easy. Certainly. This is our downtime. Ah, watch out for the tiny, he's still around. But but what if I can, and what if I made that up, and what if I, shut up, easy the eye, easy. A sense feeling, a sense experiencing, there is a supportive floor. You go down, quiet, calm, seeming nothing maybe, but there is a floor. Hey, there it is, starting to shape up. Uh, mine is glowing a bit more. And the width is pretty similar to the last one. The firmness effect is still there, but it seems to be glowing as if it has an inner light. That's me, mine, what's yours? And, and hang out with it, open, and the energy from that level, from that dimension, Boom, start to flow up and down, all around. Creating, mixing a better person, you. Ah, so Bobby, Robert, Nado, Sensei. Ah, this process brings me through all of those. Later, you get very fast at it. Don't worry about speed now. Uh, get the properness, get the basics, get the First tricks of the trade, because you're going to need them later. Okay. Uh, the patterns don't change, they just get finer and finer. And I want to say bigger if I don't want you to get lost and bigger, uh, but finer and finer and finer what they mix. The patterns tend to stay the same. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. So, Let's see what we got here on the page. Ooh, okay. So here's our ocean. Here's our abyss. Okay. Watch out for idea. Okay. Anything down here you want to experience. So what we did was I said, don't jump into the ocean. A little scary. We just did a little bit this first line. Okay. Some of you went uh, a little less. Some of you went a little bit more. Wherever you're, you're, you're comfortable. Okay. And as you get comfortable, then you'll naturally want to go to a deeper level. All right. So this majors in experience. Uh, this. Upper majors more an idea, uh, mental things. This lower half represents more experience of. Okay. You cannot catch really how the universe works if you're just doing it here. If you just do, I know there's a body. Yes, I moving my body is not the body's itself, experience of itself, okay? So uh, we don't want to get confused by thinking this is the whole picture. The whole picture is here, the whole thing. We'll cover that better when we get into the uh, self. Okay, now uh, what do we got here? Ooh. The realm, the realm, the realm. Okay. We've been doing basically, that's why I wanted this picture. Uh, we've been doing basically uh, this person's downtime and some of the tricks of the trade. Okay. So we've been doing individual person. Oh, I don't feel strong enough. Downtime. <sighs> I feel a bit stronger. I'd like to try it now. That personal. What's happening now is it's realm, okay? 
whatever word you like. The situation is downtimey. The realm is downtimey. Uh, the world we're in is downtimey. Corona's all over the world, we could say. Uh, the whole thing's downtimey. So whatever word that you, you like. Situation, I like realm at the moment. Realm, Corona is downtimey. Uh, that the how it works is exactly the same. When the realm downtimes, it also has a time period. Here we talked about uh, a moment. Eight hours of sleeping is a downtime. Taking a week's vacation is a downtime. Uh, we're in a roughly what three, four, five months. We don't know yet, but a downtime of Corona. Okay, uh, so say approximately three months of downtiming here. It is going to hit its base and then surge up. Okay. Some people are already getting a sense of the upsurge. They're saying, hey, it's going to be different. Okay. Uh, in the downtime, they happen to notice the waters are cleaner, the air is clearer. Whoa, can we have more of that after this? Is there any way of, of, of having that happen without staying downtime at home forever? Uh, there's already a sense of people talking about uh, their relationships with other people uh, is different and it's going to be different. They're getting a preview of the uptime of it. Okay. Um, so the situation, the realm, downtiming follows the same pattern. Downtimes. It'll reach its base and it'll come out and and be different. Okay. Uh, if you like, you can uh, play, do the same thing with realm down timing as you did with your system down down timing. You just have to click change your focus. Don't know the word there. Okay, now this is Corona. Ah, corona. Downtiming. This is the world downtime. This is Corona downtime. And it'll hit the base. It'll hit something to let you know it's there. And from there, springtime. And it'll be a bit different. Uh, let me do a couple examples. Brad, would you do one? Corona downtiming? No? Just a quickie. Just to give them, give some examples. Yeah. Corona downtime. Right? Corona. Ah, corona downtime. And, and, and. Hmm. How's it changing? What's it going to be? Give us a moment where I want to get some input from other folks. First sense of the springtime here. It's uh, it'll be a clear. There's a sense of a clearing. For, for everybody's interactions. Okay, ah, a clearing for people interreacting. Interacting. Interacting. Don't mind me, I talk funny. Okay, Inter interacting. Interacting is going to be different. And I'm hearing that one quite a lot. That's the one he experienced, he sensed, felt it. In whatever way he picked it up, you can pick it up. Uh, you, what's your name? Okay. Okay. All right. Now, I don't want to hear too much about you. That could be fine. But I want to talk about boom, this is a realm lightning. What's going on in the realm? I just want to make sure it's not you personally, but the realm. 
Say again, what? What's springtime here? A bigger opening, offering more possibilities. Okay. Presenting yourself more colorful, wider. Okay. More possibilities. Can you fine tune that? For example, just more possibilities is okay, but it just, just an, an example in there. More possibilities. Uh, people will smile at people more and that kind of thing. What's yours? I think different, the reorganizing different structure, reorganizing. Okay. Reorganizing different structures. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you all can do that too. Just know the difference between whether you're, just be clear with yourself. I'm doing me downtime to mix up a better me. And here, this is Corona. And it's downtiming. And eventually it'll hit its bottom. Three or five or whatever months. And, and, and then, boom. Things will be a bit different. What's your sense of how they'll be different? Uh, Bonnie, this, you want to go for the big picture, I think? Uh, this could be a good practice. Okay. Take something bigger and see how it works. Uh, okay, we're running short. Uh, let me check my notes here. Uh, step at a time. Acclimatize. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, by, by doing a little bit at a time, you, you, you get a clearer sense of the basics and, and you, you acclimatize. It's like us going into water. You know, some people just run in and dive into cold water. I'm not of that school usually. Uh, you walk in up to your knees and then you hang out for a little bit. And then you go in up to your waist, you hang out for a bit, and then deeper in, you acclimatize. So, uh, so that's what doing a, a level at a time, whatever level is comfortable for you. Let's see. Uh, yeah. That's about it. Since the spring. The uh, also the trick there in doing something like uh, Corona downtime, whatever the situation is, is you know, let me think about what it could be. I don't mean for you to go up there and think about it. Uh, I want you to learn the language of this under. It it senses itself. It is intelligence, but it's not this this intelligence. Let me let me think about what he wants me to say. I don't want you to go there. This is a, a sense feeling, sense experience. In my case, I get a lot of visuals here, not visuals up there. Sense visuals, springtime, and what's it going to be? What's it trying to do? And again, I see people smiling at each other. So, okay, a social thing, okay. And again, easy down. Springtime, Corona. Yeah, I don't know, I, I hear the word appreciation. People are still kind of acknowledging each other. But I hear the word appreciation as if they're gonna appreciate each other better. Uh, I played with this for a moment before, just earlier to today. Uh, and there was a, a lot of emphasis on uh, appreciating the, ooh, what they call them, the clerks, uh, the people you might not notice. Uh, I don't want to call them servants, but uh, that scale of people that we sometimes overlook, the people that are making $7 an hour. They're gonna be seem, seemingly a lot more aware of them and appreciative of them somehow or other. I have to hang out more to get in what form, but definitely an acknowledgement of, of them. So that, that's part of it. 
I want to know more, I just keep doing this, hang out with it longer till the dialogue from it up beating, it's clearer to me experientially. But that's what I would do, okay? Uh, you don't have to do it, but do your own personal. Definitely, Bonnie, I mentioned, you might want to do a practice with the bigger ones because I think you want to head there uh, to speak with practice one. Uh, I think we've run out of time here. I've got nothing more on my notes there. We okay? Put my earphones in. In case anyone's trying to communicate. Uh, I think we're good. If there's anything else okay. you'd like to say, of course, go right ahead. And if you'd like to take a break and do uh, your... Uh, yes. Whatever at this yes. point. Do you want to come back and do a little coffee shop time? Or what do you, how are you feeling? Uh, want to see how the are you going to dialogue with the folks now? We we can be yes. And I think see everyone would any. probably like to stay and maybe maybe even throw a few okay. questions at you or, or always just hear you tell a few. We stories. can we can try that. So I'll I'll air out for a few minutes, then I'll come back. In the meantime, if you get a, a drift of any questions that you think I might be able to handle today. <laughs> uh, I'll come back and we can bullshit, bullshit or coffee time talk it. Okay? That'd be great. Thank you so much, Bob. Really appreciate Thanks. it. It was a lovely, lovely session. We'll see you in a few minutes. Okay. Take your uh, mic, mute your mic. Thank you. Mute the mic. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you all for your patience with our technology. Thanks for being here. Let me go over just a couple things real quick. Um, the donation thing is completely voluntary. We certainly welcome it, but we're not asking. We're just saying, if you'd like to donate, we'd be happy to have it. We will give all the donations to Bob uh, that go beyond covering the expenses that Ken, Kenneth was covering. I'd like to again say my uh, special thanks to Kenneth and Lauren who put in quite a bit of time and energy to make this all happen. And I want to highlight again for all of you down under as you go off daylight savings time. Uh, my class will be 11 tomorrow in uh, Auckland and I believe nine in Melbourne. It'll be 4 p.m. on the West Coast here. And Bob's class next week will be at 1.30 p.m. in Auckland instead of 2.30. It will be at, uh, what, nine instead of 10 if I've got that right in, in Melbourne. and. Uh, for the rest of us here in, in the States, it doesn't change. It'll still be at 6.30 on Friday. We are planning to add some other classes as well. And I'd like to take a, a moment here and just see if, Kenneth, would you like to say anything about the technical aspects and the technical support team? Is there anything that you'd like to bring into the larger group at this point or highlight for anyone, please? Um. Well, we are exploring some other options. Um, and uh, I think it's probably best if um, anyone who wants to uh, submit some ideas, uh, have ideas for technology that work better for us. Um, hopefully you have our email um, and um, you can uh, you know, let us know. We're very open to it. Okay, thank you. Uh, so. I assume you have Lauren's and Kenneth's uh, emails. And if you're really stuck, you can even email me and we'll see what we can do to solve any of the issues that you bring up or make sure that questions that you'd like to get forwarded to Bob so he can consider them for future sessions. I think what we'd like to do and 